Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today I want to talk about Zach Wilson and why I think he's the perfect fit for the New York Jets offense that they'll be running under Robert Sala and Mike LaFleur. But before we get started today, I just wanted to mention you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why if you haven't already check out the podcast, new episodes come out every Monday and also check out the merch store link in the description below. Pick yourself up something nice. All right, so I am still team draft a quarterback at two. I know there are more and more rumors coming out about Sam Donald, and that'll be addressed in a uh, new video in Wink Wink, the podcast episode. It's going to be heavy Sam Donald tomorrow for the most part. But I wanted to talk about Zach Wilson and why I think he would be a great fit for the New York Jets with the number two overall pick. And that's not a knock on Justin Fields, who I think is a good prospect. I just think that, one, I leaned a little bit more Wilson anyway over him. But now that we know what kind of offense the Jets are going to be running, I think Wilson's a better fit for that offense than Justin Fields. Again, Fields is a good player, going to go in the top five, I would assume, and absolutely worthy of a top five pick. I just think that Wilson, who is also worthy of a top five pick, is going to fit the Jets' offense and the scheme from LaFleur a little bit more, so I would go that route. So one of the things I talked about in yesterday's video when talking about the 49ers' offense and LaFleur is how much they like to run outside zone. And what I found from Pro Football Focus was that Zach Wilson ran an outside zone 52% of the time. So that's a lot, obviously. So he has experience running that style of offense. That seems that's perfect. So far, so good. Additionally, they also love to run play action and on play action pass throws. According to Pro Football Focus, Wilson was graded out as a 92.9. And he ran play action 38% of the time. So a lot of the offense at BYU was play action pass and outside zone, which that's an easy fix from going to BYU to that style of offense in the NFL. And that right there is the green light to me. And the light bulb went on right after that hire. And I said, ooh, this sounds like a good fit. And after digging and finding these numbers, my original thought seems to be, correct here in the terms of they've ran that at BYU. He should be able to make that transition to the NFL in that style of offense. It's a win-win, no? One of the things that LaFleur and the 49ers offense focus so much on is athleticism. And obviously, Zach Wilson has that. He has the ability to extend plays with his legs. He has the ability to roll out to both sides and just make the field a little bit shorter. He has the ability to run as is. He has the ability to run an RPO, which is all very exciting. And Justin Fields, to an extent, does have those things too. Um, But when you just compare the two, I, I don't know if Fields is going to make that transition into this offense as well as a player like Wilson could based on everything we've seen in his collegiate career. On top of the dual threat, on top of the athleticism, he has the arm strength. His arm strength is elite, and that's super, super exciting for me going into this draft class and what, again, what the style of offense the New York Jets could be running in 2021. Yes, there have been the rumors of Sam Darnold sticking around. I don't know if those are true. No one knows, but I don't know if that's true. That's what they're going to end up doing. Or if it's, hey, let's get this guy's trade value up. I don't know about you, but if I was looking to trade someone, I wouldn't be talking about all the flaws in his game. So it's obviously there is a chance that they bring Sam Darnold back. There is also a chance that they trade him. I wouldn't look too much into those rumors just yet. But what I do know is if the New York Jets were taking quarterback at two, to me, Zach Wilson is the obvious choice. He's listed as 6'3", 210, probably closer to 6'1 and a half and 200 pounds. In 12 games at BYU this year, he threw for 3,692 yards, 11 yards per attempt, which is super exciting. He had 33 touchdowns to just three interceptions and had a 196.4 rating. Um, One of his biggest flaws in his game is that sometimes he can get in the habit of forcing a ball when he extends plays and making a poor decision like that. To me, Fields' biggest flaw is reading the defense, which I've said all along. I I think Wilson's 
Khan is a little bit more fixable than Fields at the next level. And with the knowledge of what the staff is going to look like, I just think the Wilson make the Wilson pick just seems to make sense. If not, I expect the Jets to trade back. I think we're at this point we're going to be down to it's either going to be Wilson or Darnold. I would be very surprised if the pick is Justin Fields. Again, not a knock on Fields. I like him as a prospect. I just don't know if it's exactly a fit for what the Jets are going to be doing on offense in 2021. So let me know what you think of Wilson down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think he would be a good fit in this Jets scheme or get at me on social media? Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you next time.